In this quick tutorial, I'll show you how to solve two inequalities at once. This is part two of the series. Question one asks, solve negative three is less than or equal to four x minus seven, less than or equal to five for x. If you ever run into a situation like this, you have to solve two separate inequalities. You have to solve this part and you have to solve this part. So let's get started with what was highlighted in yellow. Negative three is less than or equal to four x minus seven. We're gonna bring this minus seven over, negative three plus seven, and please treat this as an equal sign, less than or equal to four x. Simplify the left side, we end up with positive four. Solving for x here, given that that's a four, that symbol will remain the way it is. Four over four is less than or equal to x, therefore, one must be less than or equal to x. That's your first. Now we're going to concentrate on this one. 4x minus 7 is less than or equal to 5. Once again, we'll solve for x here by taking this minus 7 over. That makes it positive. The right side simplifies to 12, and therefore x is equal to 12 over 4, which is 3. So the way we write this out is the following. x must be greater or equal to 1 and less than or equal to 3. That's your final answer. Let's move on to question number 2. In question number 2, they ask us to solve 2 less than 8 minus 3x less than 14 for x. Once again, we'll concentrate on this part first and then on this part second. 2 less than 8 minus 3x gives us the following. We bring this 8 over, 2 minus 8 is less than negative 3x. The left side becomes negative 6, and the right side remains as negative 3x. Notice in our next step, we have to divide both sides by negative 3. Dividing by a negative number switches the inequality. Therefore, we end up with negative 6 over negative 3. This switches, and on the right side, we end up with simply x, giving us positive 2 is greater than x. Now let's concentrate on this blue part. 8 minus 3x is less than 14. Solving for x, we have to bring the 8 over. And on the right side, we have positive 6. And on the left side, we have negative 3x. Once again, we're dividing by a negative. Therefore, the inequality switches. And on the left side, we end up with x must be greater than negative 2. Therefore, our final answer must be written like this. x must be greater than negative 2 and less than positive 2. That is your final answer. So there you have it. Two examples on how to solve two inequalities at once. If you found this tutorial helpful, please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, you may visit our website at studyforce.com. We are an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.